Die, you stupid little meatball! Thank you, thank you very much. Let's play a game, shall we? Howdy, folks! Welcome to Dead Marine! A gameplay mod for Doom. I'm gonna try it with... The Shores of Hell. Let's see how this works. Entering sector! Alrighty then. You can already tell it's gonna be different. Clearly it's an enhanced version. It doesn't change things too much, but it clearly does change things in a very peculiar way. Like your bullets, they pop caps, the enemies just seem to be beefier. Everything is different. Well. I can't remember. I don't think it adds any more enemies. I think that's just how many enemies were there initially, but it... I don't know. Maybe my memory's just playing tricks on me. Oh, jeez. Really, there really are more enemies than I remember. Did it multiply them? Does it cause the enemies that, were, that are normally there to be multiplied? Yeah, that couldn't be, could it? Would just be weird, wouldn't it? Ha! Take that! Well, there doesn't appear to be that many more shotgun sergeants than normal. There we go. That's better. Ah, here we go. And of course, that opens that. And that opens whatever it opens. I've got no thinking clue, uh, honestly. Oh yeah, I think it opens the teleporter over there and lets you get the plasma rifle. Which would be good. Very good. There we go. Because those two platforms go down, you can only use that one, you, you know, you, you probably know by now. Ah, here we go. Enemies seem to be a bit tougher than they normally are, which means I'm not in a real big hurry to fight that khaki demon. Oh, and yet I have to. Well, time to take the training wheels off and get to it, huh? Okay, they're not really that tougher. But still, everything just feels tougher. I know it's not really, but everything's got a beefiness to it, a chunkiness to it. I can't quite explain it, but everything just seems more powerful. Including them. It's probably the sound effects. They've got more of a bass to them. It makes it sound like they're doing more than they actually are. That looks like it should be a secret, doesn't it? Oh, look at that. <laughs> Even that's green. Isn't that just, isn't that just beautiful? It's got that nice little, um, classic kind of green to it. It's, uh, it's hard to explain. Hey, buddy! Please die, in a horrific fashion. Please don't kill me in a horrific fashion, that would be bad! Okay, time to wait for it to, to load up again, because it always takes forever. Yeah, taking up the save uh, always takes forever. Now then, um, enhanced hell. I'm just going to call it that. I know it's actually called Doom Dead Marine, but hey, why not get a little flashy with the name? Oh boy. Oh jeez. Things are getting a little hairy here. So we should die already? Thank you. Right, no enemies there. Although there are enemies in here. Die! I can't tell, but I think it borrows somewhat from Smooth Doom. I'm not entirely sure on that. The way they die, it just remi it reminds me of Smooth Doom. I'm not really sure. Don't quote me on that. Well, the enemy's done. I think they move normally. Wow, really? Yeah, really. I'm the only one who's allowed to teleport to previous areas. Also, is it just me or are the imps bigger than normal? Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm fooling myself into thinking that. I don't know. Something just off. It's different. It's not quite the same. You know what I mean? Yeah, forget it. Oh, look at that. I am running out of shells, and that is not good. For my health. Wow, nice. You gotta love the pain sound on the cacodemon there. 
Yeah, it sounds like it's dropping gas. Although it also sounds like it's in pain. It doesn't just sound like gas escaping, it also sounds like a pain sound. In other words, it sounds much more proper for a demon that's made of hot gas. Because it's not just gas escaping, it's... I don't know, it's like a gas escape plus it showing some kind of pain. It's... You, you know what I mean, you know what I mean. It's hard to explain. But I'm sure you got the gist. Right, I don't think there's anything in there. Nothing left to grab there. Just this stuff. Ah. Those are just expended shells, not new ones to grab. I have to determine the difference. Otherwise, I am screwed. Also, it's kind of cool how it takes the time to show you which... what type of armor you're actually holding. You know, whether it's the blue or the green protection, because it is different. The green armor... I mean, the blue armor absorbs more damage. The green armor absorbs less damage, so knowing which is which really helps you out. Although, generally speaking, if it's over 100, it's not going to be green. Well, uh, okay, never mind. It could! If you grab green armor, a lot of armor bonuses. Sorry about that. I had some technical issues. Let's go with that. Anyway. I guess you could have above 100 and green armor if you got a lot of armor bonuses, but other than that, it's pretty much guaranteed to be blue armor if you're above 100. So, yeah. Oh, crap. How dare you? You freaking prick. You know what? Forget this. I'm just gonna punch you. May as well make things a little more interesting around here, huh? Forget the gun, I'm just gonna punch you to death. Papa. Also, that's in the Ultimate Doom demos too. So, hey, you can say I'm being a little authentic here. Obviously, it's easy. Oh, holy crap. I didn't expect that. That's a little. Not that that's a bad thing, of course. Okay, it's not really that unexpected with the imps because. You can giblet them anyway, but I didn't expect the pinky to do it. The pinky doesn't do that in the original. And even then, it's beefier. It's more similar to Brutal Doom than anything else. You know, not that I'm complaining, of course. Nice. My shells are almost completely full. And I'm still gonna punch him anyway. Just because. Oh, jeez. There we go. What you got, huh? You ain't got crap. Not on me, you don't. So yeah, take that. The demo got whooped really hard in this area. So I'm going to show off my superiority by not dying. And then watch me die. Oh, what's wrong? You having trouble? Okay, I got a little damaged, but you know. It's just a scratch, it'll buff right out. I mean, I'll, I'll heal, not buff out. I'm not a robot. I am not a robot. I am a human. You can trust me. Definitely. I about to say, was one of them alive? I almost thought one of them was alive there for a second. Not today, buddy, not today. Oh. The switch to open is right freaking there. I don't really care. I'm just gonna jump. You you would have been able to get up there anyway, and why I bother wasting my time? No, I forget this. At this point, using the fist is just impractical. May as well use the shells, considering I'm not exactly hurting for ammo right now. Well, unless I run into a pinky, I should switch it for them, because they're easy to kill with the fist. Hey, buddy! Speak of the devil! <laughs> Take that, you son of a... Meister. Oh, boy. Knee jerk reaction there, if I've ever seen one. Oh, crap. Out of heck with it. I don't need to use the fist all the time. Who says I did? You? <laughs> I really don't care. Yeah, you. You do this. 
that it just becomes permanently available. Not that it would leave me any tactile advantage, considering I already got the plasma rifle, but... Yeah. I mean, if I want to do access that particular patch of ground, now I can. Permanently. Even though, like I said, there's no point to, but... Shh. That's not the point. The point is that there is no point. Oh, look at this. This whole thing. The only flaw with that is that if you do it out of order, then it's going to be very hard to get them to actually go up. You have to do it exactly the way I want you to, which... A little bit annoying, but, you know, that's all right. Oh, boy. Please just get yourself crushed. That'd be great. Or don't. I don't really care. I'll kill you myself if I have to. Ah. Way to go! Your reward is punch in the face. That will be your eternal reward right there. Right. I think you can only do that once, so... I'm not gonna do it now. I'm gonna do it later. There's a secret right there where if you touch that, this pops down. Once. I believe it is only a one-time use only thing, so I don't want to waste it. Huh. Wow. I actually haven't killed that many enemies in this place. Weird. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's more optional areas that you can go into. That's where the crux of the actual content is. You know, this is back in the day where they trusted players to build a lot of a extra areas that the player might not have even ever seen. Just on the off chance that they actually get curious enough one day to go down here and see the full extent of their, their prowess. I mean, it is a nice, it is a nice gesture, isn't it? I mean, far too many games nowadays, they only show you the straight and narrow, the path that you have to take. Because they want you to see all their fruits, the fruits of all their efforts. Or is this like, yeah, who cares? We'll just park it off somewhere. You know, if you want to see it, it's okay. And then again, I guess it falls in line with Telltale games. They do something similar. They put in a lot of effort for different paths that the player might not have even seen. Well, kinda. I mean, maybe Telltale isn't the the best example for that because they tend to have a lot of their branching off paths be very similar, if not almost exactly the same, so probably not the same thing, but they do have some branching off paths. Like with Wolf Among Us, you can choose between two characters to interrogate, so... Uh, I mean, they put in the slight extra effort to animate them, even if you didn't see it. But, you know, it's probably not nearly as complex as this. I could have left the level and left it... It looked like half the level unseen. That's how cool it is. It's like you're actually in a living, breathing world that couldn't care less what you have to say. It couldn't care less if you want to explore it or not. I mean, you can, but it's not there for your benefit. It's there... You know what I mean. Look, switches. Let's just press all of them, why not? Get all the slots. Oh, hello there, buddy. I should be using the fist against them, why not, aren't I? Because I just don't feel like it. <clears throat> oh, look, it's the Lost Souls. Isn't that adorable? Also, I noticed that they did seem to take the time to change the blood spatter, so that's another thing that reminds me of Smooth Doom. Smooth Doom did that too. Smooth Doom had no blood for the Lost Souls, and it also had green blood for the Barons of Hell and blue blood for the Cacodemons, you know, so it was actually consistent with their actual sprites. Hint, hint, id software. I mean, even if you even if you want to claim that it was because of technical limitations, I'm not really buying that because you were able to do blood puffs anyway, so why not just have different blood puffs for different enemy types? Yeah, forget it. I guess you just didn't have enough time to, or... I guess you figured, uh, who cares? It's such a small detail that people probably aren't going to care anyway. You know, unless they're just incredibly picky, like me. Oh, hey, buddy. Pop in the face. I am two punch man. I am one punch man's not as impressive brother, but hey, pun punching things twice and having them explode is pretty damn impressive, too. I mean, heck, just punching something a hundred times and having it explode would be pretty impressive. Just saying. Okay, 17 more enemies in this level. But where are they? Where are those pigs? Where are they? I know they're hiding somewhere. 
I will find them. Probably. I will search for them until I get bored. And if I happen to find them, then I will find them. Probably shove the shotgun in his face and kill them. 16, 15. Okay, I guess that... Oh, right. Now I remember. Yeah, there's an area where you can get the chainsaw in here. Ah, yeah, and it also has lost souls in it. Probably good thing I got this then. Hey, buddy. Good to see you again. Oh, no, I'm not using the chainsaw against them. It's pretty dangerous. I think I wasn't punching them either. Oh, look, they're fighting each other. Isn't that cute? Isn't that just adorable? Oh, look, three more enemies to go. You're not crushing me today. Oh, no, you're not. I know you're not. <laughs> not today, you scallywag, you. I wonder what's down there. Ooh, look at that. That's some nice animation there. I gotta give credit where credit's due. Looks pretty nice. I mean, for obvious reasons, it looks different from the Doom Slime, but it still looks very nice. In fact, I'd say it looks kind of better because of it, because the Doom Slime, it basically just shifted among itself. It didn't actually look like it was flowing at all. But, you know, the limitations. Okay, two more enemies that haven't been killed yet. I wonder where they're hiding. Oh, wait. I don't think they're hiding. I think they're coming after me. I just heard that sound. They're probably imps. What you want to bet? I'm willing to bet any amount that you can theoretically think of that those two that are left are probably imps. Somewhere. Let's see. Hmm. Let's see. Where are you? Where are you hiding? You can't fool me more than once. Well, more than a thousand times. I will eventually figure, out, figure you out. And once I do, oh boy, you are in for a world of hurt. Yeah, forget it. May as well just grab the stuff and then leave. Who really cares? I don't really care if I fight them or not. I mean, who cares? I'll kill them if they're in front of me and they're blocking my path, but... I mean... If they just want to chill somewhere, you know, that's their prerogative. At least they've got each other. Those two that are left, they've got each other. Even if they've got no one else in this horrid world. I say as if I actually give a crap about them. Because they kind of deserve it. They have it coming. They're kind of monsters trying to destroy the world, so why should I sympathize with them? Oh, that, that is cool. I just now noticed... That when you go over 100, it's got a blue that goes over the red. That is cool. Very nice. Oh, right, I'm actually supposed to go there first. See? What did I tell you? And it's funny how if you do it like that, then the floor just lowers, and then there you go, it's down forever. I don't know why, but I prefer doing it like that, just so, just so there isn't a part of the map that's permanently blocked off. Yeah, call it OCD or whatever, but eh, I don't know. Oh, look. Look at that. Also, there's blue armor right here. Which means I can exit with 200% of both. Also, both of them are in the blue, so that's good. I think. I'm going to assume. I may not have gotten all the kills, but who really cares anyway, right? Right. This is that weird level that has the intermission music as its level music. Some people might call that lazy, but I call that creative, resourceful, intuit intuitive. Oh no, you don't. You're not. You're not getting the drop on me, you little pricks. I will keep my health at 200% as much as possible. Die already? Please die. Thank you. I really appreciate it. You're such, you're such a, you're so great. Ah, oh, nice. Well, my health is no longer at 200%, but who really cares? I will rip you to shreds. That will be a balm for my wounds. Come on, come this way. You gonna come this way or not? Die. 
There we go. Isn't that just great? Kind of weird there's a radiation suit randomly in here. You know, probably in case you wanted to go into radiation at some point. You know, just jump into a radioactive pit and you don't want to die from it. I'm gonna make I'm gonna get them to kill each other. That'll be good. Oh crap. Trying to get them to end fight is gonna end up getting me killed. There we go. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Maybe I should give up trying to make them end fight. Because I'm gonna die. The hell with it. Die. Die, you meatball. Die, you stupid little meatball. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, look, the Berserk Pack. I probably shouldn't have grabbed that right now because I could have saved it for later, but whatever. I'm not going to reload just for that. If I got a significant amount of damage dealt to me or something of that capacity, I might, but... You know, who cares? Oh, look at that. Some more rockets. I'm a rocket man, rocket man, burning out his fuse up here alone. And I know I'm gonna go into the slime, so I better grab the radioactive suit. Radiation suit, whatever you wanna do, whatever you wanna call it. Also, there's a secret area with slime in it. Radioactive waste, I don't even know what it is. I'm assuming it's radioactive waste, that's the only thing that would make any sense. You know, because a nuclear power plant, or at least it was in the previous episode, it, there was a power plant, so I'm assuming this is, this is nuclear, nuclear waste. Die. Definitely not gonna grab that blue armor right now, but rest assured that you can bet that I will later on. Just not now. Just not now. Oh yeah, there's a Baron in this level, I think. If I remember correctly. Maybe I should use the, the rocket launcher. Yep, I was right. What'd I tell you? Let's see if it's if it stays consistent. I mean the lost souls were given no blood, just a bullet poof, so if it's consistent, yep, green blood. That's it. I'm not gonna waste another rocket on you because I already shot you with a shotgun, yep. See, that's why I didn't. It would have been a waste. Why waste? Haste makes waste. I'm just gonna punch you in the face because I got a Berserk Pack and I can. I guess that's the one good thing about getting the Berserk Pack early. I can punch things in the face and have them explode. I may not be a one punch man, but I'm pretty damn close if I do say so myself. Nice. That was pretty awesome. Boom! Kaboom! Okay, enough of that. Alright, there's a secret shortcut. A secret shortcut. A short secret. A secret cut. Come on. I was hoping you two would infight. Nice. This is your eternal reward for doing that. You betrayed your own kind, so what makes you think I can trust you? That's the downside to a Bened Benedict Arnold who's willing to betray his own people. I hear Benedict Arnold actually led, led a pretty miserable life after that was over because the British didn't trust him, and obviously the Americans, they were steaming because he betrayed them, and because he was willing to betray them, the British didn't trust him, so he basically lived the rest of his life in misery. This is why you don't betray people! Because the people you betrayed for aren't going to trust you either. <clears throat> Don't stab your friends in the back. Otherwise, you might just be left with nobody. And then who will you stab in the back? Ha, take that. If you want to betray someone, pretend to be friends with your enemy and then stab them in the back. Because then, then your friends will know that you're still on their side. That you're not willing to just change sides on a whim. That you only pretend to change sides to help your actual side. Yeah, you know what I mean. 
Obviously, it's not betrayal if your side turns out to be really scummy and you turn on them. Well, I mean, I would, I, it would probably be considered betrayal, but it wouldn't be considered, you know, deceitful. It would basically just be you determining that they suck and defecting. But don't pretend, don't pretend like they're your friends after you've already done it. Because otherwise nobody will trust you anymore. You know what I mean? Well, that's a net gain. I probably shouldn't have, shouldn't have wasted that radiation suit, huh? I probably would have been better off if I hadn't. Oh well. I guess it's not too important. Well, look at that. I got a health bonus. Not that it's gonna help me that much. I probably should have used this when I was actually getting attacked. Oh well. Who cares? I don't. Not anymore. Oh, was that one way only? That's stupid. Oh well. I guess it can't be helped. Oh crap. Yeesh. It's kind of interesting how it actually edited the Doom guy's pain sound. And he no longer goes, <coughs> he just goes, <coughs> it's probably better that way because that way, if he's getting pained multiple times in a row, like the radioactive slime, I guess going, <coughs> <coughs> just sounds too much. Just going, <coughs> <coughs> actually, that, that, that may sound worse in some ways because it sounds suggestive. It's like he's going, uh, 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 uh. Sorry. Did I just give you nightmares? Because I don't really care. That's how I roll. Oh yeah, I think there's one area that closes after 30 seconds. Oh. Or was that not, that not it? What the? I could have sworn there was, a, there was some kind of area that just closes after the level begins and 30 seconds have passed. Am I wrong on that? I guess I'm mistaken, huh? I guess there's some other way that you're supposed to open that. Oh crap. Hey! Quit shooting at me from both ends, it makes it hard for me to defend myself. And therefore unfair. I mean, if the shoe was on the other foot, you can bet I'd exploit that the hell out of that, but... You're not me. So that makes it unfair. Oh yeah, I'm forgetting exactly what it takes to do that. Take this. Take this. Take that. Just have everything attacking you. That'll be good. Oh jeez, that was. That was very deceptive, wasn't it? Went right through him as I was killing him. Well done, you smug SOB. Wait, what the? Did I just see it go down? Is that how you do it? What the? What just happened? No, something just happened. I swear I just saw something go down. I can't be going crazy, can I? I wanna try that again. Okay, gonna stay here. That way, if, if something did go down, I'll have time to go back up. What the? I swear I just saw something go back up. I can't be, I can't be losing my mind, can I? Well, I know that just went down. Ah, I see. Well, that's easy. Just have to go through a line. I'm just gonna kill all of you. Is that okay? Yeah, what well, am I kidding? Of course it's okay. You always were an idiot. Take that, ya pig. How do you feel about that, huh? Oh yeah, this makes you stuck in here. And of course, this makes the crusher ceiling come down. Ha ha. Didn't quite make it, did ya? You know, missed me by a hair. 
Okay. Hurry up and go through this. I know it's behind here. I'm not stupid. Although I am stupid enough to miss them. So I am somewhat stupid, just not that stupid. Right. Ha. I know I probably could have gotten under there without crouching, but... I am impatient. I am very impatient. Out of my way, you prick. You gonna die now? Because I would really appreciate it if you just keeled over and died for me. Please. Pity, please. Super Saiyan, please. Super BFG, please. Seriously, how are you supposed to even get in there? There's something special you gotta do? I swear, I thought I looked it up in Doom Builder and it said it just closes 30 seconds after the level starts. I must have been mistaken. Ah, forget it. Who cares? Anyway, I guess that's it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like imp guts. And I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out. Have a good one. Have a nice and pleasant day. If you like this Let's Play, check out my others. I upload them 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And have a nice day.